All right, I hope this is working. Man, this is so weird. Anyway, hello guys, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and this is the Subscriber Designs episode 30. The very first design is by, let me see. It is by Atli Tobiansson, Tobiasson, yeah, I think that's it. And he's from Iceland and he made the hello.craft. It is a terrible craft, I, I must admit. <laughs> yes, let's take a look. I'm actually recording this for the second time and it's not so enjoyable now, but anyway. Hello is, hello.craft is basically a, a word, a hello, that's what it says. <laughs> I mean, this is, this really threw me off. I was, I was expecting some sort of awesome craft. I checked the part, amount of parts for this, and I thought, oh, okay, it might be good. And then this is what I, this is what I get. And so this is, this is uh, my, what, second time playing in this latest update, 1.0.4 of KSP. Uh, I, I did end up like, I crashed the, the craft and then all of a sudden everything was pitch black in KSP. So, you know, there's still some bugs in game. <laughs> I'm so not, I'm not very happy now. You know, we kind of haven't played for two weeks and the comeback is like, yeah, here's a crash for you. Oh, thank you. Yes. Anyway, uh, this thing is, I mean, it can lift off, but then it falls down. So it's, you know, not the best. It does need a few wings and the, the mass is like slightly to the left. If that was... You know, it's a bit off, but you could fix it if you wanted to. But I don't get what you'd want this for. But anyway, if you guys take a look at the the thrust, the the actual animation here is, is different now. I quite like it. I think it's good. I'm wondering if they implemented the Afterburner mod. I think that's what it's called. Or Afterburner. There's like this animation type of mod. It changes the way everything looks. Oh no, it's called Hot Rockets. That's it. Hot Rockets mod. Yes, haven't you? It was a pretty good mod, just for the aesthetics, of course. Uh, they probably didn't really implement that, as this is very different from the ones that are in that mod. All right, we're going downwards-ish. If I do A, let's hold down A. Oh, it goes the opposite way. Nope. All right, straight down. All right, let's see if we can save Valentin. Uh, doop, doop, doop. Yes, you are saved. Wow, this is my second time saving a Kerbal. I did the exact same thing. Where's the Kerbal? Oh, okay, it died after entering the ground. <laughs> yeah, I ended up saving the Kerbal before. And then I put a space bar and then the game just, you know, just blacked out. It was so weird. Anyway, that was, that was, that's an interesting craft. I have no further comments other than hello. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm just going to leave that there. Anyway, let's take a look at the next craft, which is JRA, Jetboat Mark II Craft. So there's this one here, 132 parts, three stages. This thing looks, this looks pretty cool. I actually quite like it when I first saw it. This is made by, let's see, Jolly Roger Aerospace, who happens to be a CEO. I mean, it's quite funny. I always like that. It's like CEO, really, you have no like workers working under you. <laughs> anyway, uh, he says here, we strapped two large SRVs on the sides, a bunch of them blowing ship towards the island. Okay, in the ocean. Yada 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 will come safely at 5.9 meters per second. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it. Hopefully the staging is correct. Let's see that should automatically. Then the what's that? Okay, this will be propelled outwards, and then a parachutes which will uh, slow slow our descent into the ocean. And then we have this. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is very well thought out. This would have taken quite a lot of time in order to get right. So good job to Jolly Roger. Aerospace, <laughs> although this isn't really aerospace, you know, if you're going to launch it on just KSP. Anyway, I mean, on the, on, on Kerbin. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go. We can do this. We can do this. All right. Looking good. We have Valentina who just died a second ago. No problem. SAS, uh, don't need to throttle up. Let's press spacebar. Ooh, okay, that was that was a worry. That was very worrisome just then. Let's see how we go. It doesn't really matter how high we go, uh, because obviously we're gonna have parachutes eventually that will deploy and slow our descent. So I think we just keep it the way it is. I'm wondering if we can actually move this slightly. We'll do that at the last second when there's not very much fuel inside the solid fuel boosters. Because if we mess something up now. The last second, if we if we change do some sort of change, it won't be as as bad. All right, we're going. We really are going up. <laughs> we're going very high. Oh no, that's gonna cause problems. Hey, look at that! 
Look at that small inline reaction wheel. Yep. This is an old craft. It is. Alright. Very nice. <laughs> Wait, why is it so dark inside the cockpit? Hmm. Yeah, this looks pretty cool, eh? Hey, look. Screenshot. Yeah, yeah, that's the way. How am I gonna get out? See? That's it. I always forget. Alright. Space bar. And that flips. Yes, that's expected. Goodbye. And we are currently upside down. We now have to descend. Alright, this is just pretty good so far. I, I really like it. Look at that. Look how cool that is. It's a flying boat. Who would have thought? <laughs> a flying boat. Alright, we are going straight down still. So hopefully these parachutes are properly sought out so that we go down completely horizontal instead of vertical. Otherwise, if we land vertically, that could be a problem. Alright, time warp. Yeah. All right, come on, faster! Damn, this is like this guy's done really slow. Look at all those wings, I'm guessing. How many wings are inside? Got a mm, couple wings here and there. Ah, uh, very slow. I suppose it's that new drag mod away. Eh? It's crazy that thing. <laughs> hey, look, the SRBs. Hello, where are you going? They will be recovered by NASA very soon. <laughs> Not really. There's no NASA here. It's just one building, one very large building complex. All right, go down, please, faster. Takes ages. Jeez, look at Valentina coming, shaking around. You crazy? All right, now we should deploy the parachutes just in case. Ooh, let's turn off the SAS. Are these gonna fully deploy? Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so far it's, eh. If we hold down that, okay, okay, I'm liking it. So, all right, we might have to hold down S the last second, but generally speaking, this is pretty good so far. I like, really nice. Go down faster, please. <laughs> Damn you, faster. Uh, okay, we're good, we're good. And last second, hold down S. Whoa, okay, that was bumpy. Well, look at the parachute. Up, and then underneath the ocean. All right, we've landed. Let's click F3. Anything damaged? Uh, let's see, A, B, R, 8. So the winglet, which winglet? Splashdown Harden was destroyed. Where, which one was that specifically? I forget which winglet. Is a winglet gone? Aerodynamic nose cone. Was that the nose cone on the SRBs? If it was, then I don't care because they're not part of this anymore. Anyway, let us launch. Ish. <laughs> Alright. I haven't really read the instructions properly, so there's bound to be some sort of issue. Alright, so far good. I like this. It's very nice. <laughs> very nice and peaceful. Jolly Roger Aerospace, eh? Look at that. Look at their own boats. They are true pirates. <laughs> Alright, how fast is this gonna go? Let me read the instructions now. <laughs> After we tested this thing. Uh, we'll come safely to 5.9 meters per second. Yada, yada, yada. Crank the engines. We'll go with a little trim Alt S. And it will hit 51 meters per second. Alt S. Alt S? Mm. So what? What? It's just it, that's what we use for zooming. All this. I wondered for a second there. If I just hold down S anyway. Hmm. I don't know how far, how much faster it will go. I mean, this was made in a long, uh, a couple of versions of KSP ago. <laughs> so yeah, maybe this is the max speed. I guess one of you guys will have to test it out. Tell me how fast it actually can go if you. Actually, know what's happening here. I'm not all too good with boats. I've been very unsuccessful in this game. And there's no, the animation, there's no real difference here with the basic jet engines. Right, because I know the turbo jet engines, they look very different now with the animation. So I wonder what's happening exactly, although we, not exactly a full throttle here. Like we're not at the max thrust, so maybe that's doing a thing. All right, well, that's it for this design. I think we'll go into the next one. It's pretty good. 
if you want to land somewhere you could do that you'd probably take this to late if you wanted to you'd probably have to balance it out as well all good brakes <laughs> no brakes here the very final aircraft for this video, and this is an aircraft, is the Cynthia Mark 1 GFX, and then this is made by, let's see, Sugarcube114. Hmm, okay, interesting name. I do believe this craft was submitted to me in the previous update of KSP, and when I first looked at this thing, the action groups were actually missing, and I did fix it up slightly uh, according to the original specifications, but yeah, I'm just, just noting that just in case there's something that I missed. So this thing has two RAM air intakes somewhere as specified in the description. Uh, it says here when on the runway, initiate all four engines and then press nine to toggle the reverse thrusters. I don't understand why you want to toggle the reverse thrusters when you're trying to sort of lift off early on the runway. I don't understand that, but let's see. Uh, reverse thrusters with maximum power output of 40 kN. Uh, it consists of 100 parts. It's a small amount of parts. It's, it's good. And overall, I think that's pretty much it. It's a simple craft, but it looks good. I do admit it looks very nice. Uh, if I was to complain about something, then I'd probably say that the parachute here, it's probably good to make it nice and flush with the wing instead of like protruding out here. It doesn't... Anyway, I, I'm guilty of doing things like this as well all the time but anyway i just like to specify that <laughs> let's launch uh obviously the reverse thruster activates for some reason because the action groups are all messed up actually this the staging was messed up yeah that's my fault i've got to fix that but i'll give you guys the original craft in the description so you can download it and try it out yourself it is a decent craft lifts off nice and early that's a bit of a close call actually with the the ground there and the the basic jet engine, as you can see here. Let's see. Let's do a nice barrel roll. Whee! <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, it's not bad. At least this thing won't go out of control at low altitudes. That's nice to see. <laughs> That's always very nice. Decent craft. I can't complain. I think it looks very nice. Very nice. It's it's slick. That's a nice word. Slick. Woo! Heretic, big words. No, not really. <laughs> Barrel roll for with a win. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, eh, no, damn it. That was my fault. Eh, eh, did it destroy the building? Success. It's a very nice design. <laughs> yes. You guys get the point of that one. It was a nice craft. Well made, I do admit. Very well made. But I think that's it for this episode. I'm done. Uh, yeah, we even have the solar panels, eh? Little, little solar panels. I wonder what they're for. Just for aesthetics, I guess. Eh, very nice. I like it. And we can see here, what's up with these fuel ducts? These fuel ducts connect from the... So we have the fuel tanks in the center, and then they they provide fuel to this basic jet engine. Both of these. So they have to go out. All right. I think we get the point. Uh, I'd like to thank the subscribers for their fantastic designs and unusual design as well <laughs> so thank you at lee Topiansen for the hello.craft hello to you too <laughs> uh, jolly roger aerospace for the very nice boat i liked it nice fun and sugarcube 114 for the interesting design the way it looks is pretty darn good anyway thank you guys for watching and have a nice day bye bye